All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to a game. This game is going to be between Hawk and Lin Gua Gua. This game taking place here on Autumn Leaves. All right, just realized that my microphone, well, my camera was off centered just a little bit. Let's go ahead and break things down into this 1v1 matchup orc versus human here on Autumn Leaves. Lin Gua Gua spawning as the teal orc on the top right hand side of the map opening things up with what seems to be far C or headhunters. Meanwhile, on the bottom left-hand side of the map, no surprises here, Hawk opening things up with Archmage and Footman. Archmage, Footman, and well, Archmage, Footman, far C or headhunters, a uh, very, very common opening from both sides now. I think I'm gonna try and zoom out just a little bit. There we go. Um, zooming out just a little bit more, getting a little bit more overview of the action. And it works as a caster, not necessarily as a player, as, well, you need to be able to see what's going on everywhere, but not necessarily have to micro and click on everything. So a little bit of an added benefit here as Hawk making a little bit of an aggressive move, moving forward with Militia and Footman to clear out this Goblin Merchant Shop. This is a 5-4-3 creep camp, which will give level 2, and the Farseer may not know about this type of creep pattern. All right, Farseer going to come across, actually spot this right here. Nope, there goes the Sasquatch. The footmen are now coming back around, and now what is going to end up going down? Archmage trying to get that last shot off there. Who's going to get that final kill? Archmage trying to get it. There it goes, gets up to level 2, picks up the Circuit of Nobility, and is now kind of hanging around in the back a little bit as well. One very low hit point Spirit Wolf going to end up getting resubmitted and two hit low hit point spirit wolves getting resummoned as we are looking at headhunters now joining in on the battle hawk being ag extremely aggressive with that creep pattern there has a second circuit of nobility so that archmage is essentially acting like a level four archmage in terms of stats already that is difficult to overcome as we're looking at one low well a couple of low hit point peasants gonna get cleaned up on their way back while retreating 292 hit points compared to 417 as that well as that damage is adding up rather quickly that plus four damage um well it's been quite a bit there as we're looking at peasants well getting taken down by these spirit wolves as there's no arcane tower trying to resummon things up we are going to be picking up a clause of attack plus five archmage now already up to plus nine damage here going to be backing away trying to get that water elemental to do its tanking all right, so Lin Gua Gua early with the aggression, getting in a handful of peasant kills, three to be exact. Meanwhile, the Archmage of Hawk um, is sitting on plus nine attack damage already because of the Claws of Attack and Circlets of Nobility. Also, decent amount of bonus hit points, up a hundred um, from its normal amount here as Lin Gua Gua going to be, well, finding another opportunity to creep jack his opponent. All right, Archmage, is he going to get spotted down here? Ogre Magi could get taken down. It, w it will get taken down. Item is going to be Tome of Agility and Cloak of Shadows can hide if necessary as new Spirit Wolves are now being summoned. The low hit point uh, footman from Hawk down to dead, giving level two to the Farseer as damage is still racking back up. That Water Elemental actually getting in the way of the far or the Archmage to be able to land in some damage. That slower movement speed on that water elemental actually causing a little bit of problems as Lin Gua Gua is really doing more with less. But at the same time, well, Hawk simply just has more and is able to um, able to be very, very effective in all of his engagements. Now picking up a boots of speed and um, very early aggression coming in from Hawk, spending money on not only that circlet of nobility um, on an archmage, but boots of speed still may want to get a staff of teleportation as the archmage sits at level two perhaps wanting to get to level three soon back in the base of orc lin gua gua i believe got the spiked barricade upgrades though i think all of these buildings are making a point as the Torin chieftain yeah pun intended Torin chieftain now getting trained up archmage back across here gonna finish off this ogre magi meanwhile spirit wolves trying to fight back here and hawk is extremely behind on lumber with only nine workers scout tower is gonna be completed archmage gets up to level three item what is that that is a second cloak of shadows um, perhaps wanted to sell one of those but has no time to visit the store footman rushing off to the north now 
and you can see the spiked barricades is now done trying to put in some pressure a footman yeah they are taking a little bit of damage back here as the water elemental is going to get cleaned up there goes one giving in more experience one bestiary getting taken down the spirit lodge will have no problem footmen do they have the fen no they don't as there is just not enough lumber to complete that research torrent chief and now out here onto the battlefield and hawk well is in a bit of a dangerous situation he had the early aggression but that window of opportunity has quickly closed and now lin gua gua is going to start taking the well taking the uh, the army size and tech advantage if he can help it all right back off back to the cross side here farsi are looking to back away taking a little bit of damage footman about trying to chase and well if the archmage is able to get that uh, get, take down that farseer that would be enough to disrupt things farseer does have the boots of speed remember and those auto attack as are dealing quite a bit more damage every every time they're going through as the torrent chieftain now comes back around scroll of speed and um, well used there in order to be able to run away very quickly run away run away all right shaman actually getting a purge off finishing off that farseer uh, finishing off that water elemental giving level three to the farseer as the mountain king now out here onto the battlefield as well handful of low hip point footmen hawk has retrained up to seven um, peasants on lumber as the archmage here goes after the remaining creep camps uh, at this gold mine all right finishing off this unit here archmage giving the boots of speed to the mountain king incredibly important if you want to chase down units and stun them with a storm bolt we are looking at an arcane sanctum getting added in as well hawk sitting on one base 30 over 36 supply and um, compared to 37 over 41 needing the speed to build this arcane sanctum as well as a scroll of regeneration while well, greatly greatly used there to try and heal up hawks well rather beat up army farseer seeing that level three a clarity pushing on him he's gonna have plenty of mana trying to go after units there the water elementals slower movement speed actually working in favor for hawk this time as it's body blocking the farseer and the spirit wolves from really being able to catch up and that has translated into a large number of hit points regenerated all right water elemental gets taken down there torrent chieftain could have a very bad day trying to break free will be able to do exactly that today taking down that one head hunter there as damage is still racking up mountain king still wandering back around damage is still racking up onto those head hunters down to 87 hit points he'll be able to retreat back and now reversal is fair play as the torrent chieftain now surrounded all right who's going to come out on top that is the question archmage could be in some serious trouble torrent chieftain chain lightning four hit points survive archmage is sitting at 77 as we see the scroll of town portal well the scroll of town portal working its magic priest now coming back across here and that sped built altar or arcane sanctum now looks absolutely genius as the priest getting out here in record time grunt um well getting killed there water elementals making their way over perhaps to try and shut down the great hall attempt again but with those spiked barricades the footmen are not able to do much damage all right yeah chain lightning could have gone the other way right there looking for key moments in the game and well hawk being able to get out of that jam without much of a problem um felt like a bases loaded no out situation for all you baseball fans out there but hawk able to come away without suffering much damage at all all right water elemental gonna get um well beaten down here taken down by the null overseer mountain king getting up to level two picks up a scroll of the beast and also trains up thunderclap thunderclap the follow-up ability to try and minimize or be able to land large amounts of aoe damage in the fight and while also mitigating a lot of damage as the attack speed of all of the opposing units get shut or well not shut down but slowed it down significantly mountain king gonna get ready to engage here there's a storm bolt onto the shaman shaman may end up just getting taken down there's a purge right there a final um well taking a large chunk of hit points off of that water elemental meanwhile mountain king may come across is he gonna try and storm bolt anything storm bolts finding another shaman there but difficult to get all the way to that distance there's a follow-up thunderclap but still not gonna really rack all that much up as we see scroll of speed used in order to counteract that slow speed there a lot of low hit point footmen a chain lightning here coming across 
from the far seer wood will bounce around and just knock over a bunch of these footmen pretty easily there goes one footman already um, an another footman about to get taken down water elemental about to get taken down there's the chain lightning and i believe only one unit there so random number generation really working for hawk not touching that water elemental not hitting that low hit point footman or rather not dealing enough damage to that low hit point footman with that said though hawk does have the or, or will have the economic advantage momentarily as that um, as that great hall and expansion is nearly up and operational farseer torrent chieftain also having the hero level advantage here as the Mountain King, well, trying to get into harm's way. Level 4 now on the Archmage. Level 2, Brilliance Aura. Going to be a very big deal there. Another Water Elemental getting taken down. But this time by the by the Creeps again. Back and forth action into this battle. Another Stormbolt trying to go down onto the Raider. But the Raider looks like he will not be able to make it. Archmage with those Fireballs able to land the land that damage. Spirit Wolf looking to back away again. Mountain King does have or needs a little bit more mana in order to throw down a Stormbolt or better yet try to land in a Thunderclap as we can see so many units all coupled together there. Hawk continuing to bring Militia over to the battlefield as the Torrent Chieftain is going to be using that Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability. Surrounding a Torrent Chieftain with a Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability is hazardous and dangerous to your health as we should be looking at some more perhaps Shamans getting taken down. There goes one. Another one could get taken down here slow has been cast across multiple units and well if you're running away and um, slowly from a human army well that is one of the ways that human armies can actually um well, deal significant lasting damage all right yeah and that's how armies often in warcraft 3 work if you're able to force your opponent to retreat um, being able to pick off units while they retreat is a major advantage Mount, that is the reason why the Mountain King with Stormbolt and Boots of Speed is such a popular combination. It's also, um, it's also one of the reasons why humans in particular have a difficult, or in my belief and theory, um, why humans have a difficult time against undead. Um, with Sorceresses Slow being the main way to apply slowing effects to retreating armies or armies in general, the destroyers and and their access to uh, devour magic and um, really shuts down sorceress slow play against undead that's re the reason why you don't see it um, night elf has dryad slow poison and orc has raider in snare but we're not looking at a human versus undead game. We're looking at human versus orc. Lin Gua Gua now coming back in with the Scroll of Town Portal. Crota, you play Warcraft 3? Just I'm pretty much just casting replays. Um, and with with how competitive I am as a player, I know that um, I'm not going to be able to execute the plays or play anywhere near at the level I was back in the day, and that would just frustrate me more. I'm sure all Warcraft 3 and any real-time strategy players out there can remember a time when they tried to play Warcraft 3 or their favorite game to relax, only to be more frustrated later on. Torin Chieftain with a ma massive lightning shield right there after that, after a stomp, really trying to rack up damage. Meanwhile, Archmage still has one more healing ward, and he may want to try and leave that, um, leave that just in case. Um, we are looking at the Mountain King trying to retreat back here. Great job by Lin Gua Gua, making sure to not allow that healing ward to stay down for very long. Mountain King does not have, um, well, that does not have that much mana. Opted for level two Stormbolt. Farseer could be in trouble. Farseer down to 13 hit points, down to dead. Farseer gets taken down at level three. Torin Chieftain still at level four with a potion of greater healing. Perhaps wishes that he left it for his, um, well, his partner in crime. Spellbreakers are getting taken down. Kodo Beast is chomping down on one Spellbreaker as well as the Mountain King does have enough mana for a Stormbolt. Goes on to the Torin Chieftain as a potion of greater healing used in time there. You better believe if the potion of greater healing wasn't used that more focus would have been, well, drawn onto that Torin Chieftain as the Torin Chieftain now being forced to back away. Mountain King trying to pick up some items i think he was trying to pick up a potion of mana unable to do so and here we go trailing units looking to retreat back away unable to um, keep those units alive mountain king perhaps going to pick up a clarity potion there we are and perhaps use up a scroll of regeneration as well interestingly enough scroll of regeneration does not work um, does not get stopped by a great haul at least i don't believe so 
units are now looking to retreat back mountain king getting in the snare there goes a storm bolt onto a raider raider down to 75 hit points but it looks as though the well he is deep enough inside his army to be able to send back going back and forth repairs or no not repairs the peasants are actually fighting back against the orc burrow there as more purges or and more damage racking up onto those shaman and other units kodo beast has one spell breaker in the belly as the units are looking to retreat back here as the farce here is nearly resurrected orc burrow about to get taken down is taken down a couple of peons could easily get cleaned up mountain king will not get to level four but will get just that much closer as the great hall while suffering quite a bit of damage 50 over 52 supply for Lin Gua Gua. He is going to be upside down on supply there. And yes, a peasant did end up, I guess, take, getting killed, um, tr attacking this great hall. Um, you know, I guess throwing yourselves on your enemy's great hall um, is a way to show your allegiance to um, the army. Don't see how Orc can come back. Literally has no damage at all. All right, Spellbreaker is coming back through. Um, we're looking at Torrent Chieftain going to come in uh, around here. Going to perhaps find a stomp and now find the stomp right there. Archmage could be in trouble. Has no survivability. Purge onto the Water Elemental there. Archmage is dropping level 3 Water Elemental. Is making it a little bit more difficult. Now the Torrent Chieftain sits at level 5. A massive or a decent Thunderclap right there. There goes a giant stomp across the entire backside there. And now Lightning Shield followed by Chain Lightning. Feel the Lightning. Ride the Lightning. Torrent Chieftain really racking up some damage onto many of those casters and Chain Lightning as a departing gift there. Lin Gua Gua reversing things around. I don't see how Orc can come back. That's how Orc comes back. <laughs> Spoke too soon. All right, some beautiful play, beautiful execution. Torrent Chieftain with a stomp followed by Lightning Shield, followed by Chain Lightning. And when where there's a will, there is a way. Hawk perhaps asleep at the wheel for maybe four seconds, and suddenly Lin Gua Gua comes back in a hurry. Coming back around, a Mountain King going after all of these units units here. And well, and this is the funny and interesting position about a Hawk's army. Hawk's army actually has more damage if his opponent has mana on his Torin Chieftain and Farseer. That was the reason why the invisibility play was so important, allowing the Torin Chieftain to get into position of, um, in order to get hit um, or to be able to land that stomp. Replenishment Potion dropped right there. Um, Archmage may come around, pick it up. We are looking also at, uh, well, also at uh, Ring of Regeneration now on that Mountain King. Torrent Chieftain going to try and rinse and repeat that strategy again. Both sides sitting in no upkeep as, oh, we see Hawk going after a dangerous, dangerous creep camp here on the top right-hand side. Archmage is already seeing that level 5. Torrent Chieftain is invisible, not spotted. This is going to be huge here, trying to finish off all of these units. Torrent Chieftain could land a stomp here, but where is the rest of his army to back him up? And here we are, here we go. There's the stomp, there's the dust of appearance. Just a little bit late. No lightning shield, scroll of healing already back there as the Torrent Chieftain getting some mana, well, greatly, greatly reduced. Stormbolt onto the Wind Rider to take him out as the granite golem now coming across to engage there's another storm bolt there oh no it's not a storm bolt that was a boulder by the granite golem as the mountain king comes in with a storm bolt but unable to land it as the potion and vulnerability in time archmage could be in trouble has a potion has a scroll of town portal and followed by a stun archmage is he invisible he is invisible and that is going to allow him even though he was stunned there is a store a thunderclap right there archmage trying to follow up damage takes it down archmage scroll of town portal escapes away as the granite golem did a enough in this fight to i believe tip it into the hands of hawk however a little bit of a gift a gift right here farseer will be able to take down this granite golem and perhaps will get very close to level five if not there indeed all right mountain king wants to make a move back over granite golem gonna get taken down and it is cadgar's pipe of insight a big big item right there kodo beast stormbolt um, taking that down to allow the rest of the human army to catch up to it. Mountain King wants to continue to chase, perhaps land another Stormbolt on another unit. They're no slow. There's a Stormbolt onto the Kodo Beast here. If he's able to take down 
to Kodo Beast. That would be an eight supply swing. Mountain King needs a little bit more mana. Archmage is now nearby, giving in a bit of mana regeneration for that Mountain King. And that should be enough. Kodo Beast says, I'm going to try to dine and dash. But, well, he is just going to end up falling. All right. Kodo Beast getting taken out there. Spellbreaker given back up once more. Well, 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 what? Granite Golem has no boulder ability? Then what What was th tossing those stone toss? I, th I thought it did. I thought it had a thunderclap, like a, like a clap ability. I don't remember the exact name. I'll have to look up the, the abilities again. All right. Ultra of Storms greatly under distress. Massive repairs are underway. Chain Lightning bouncing around. Oh, I don't know if Hawk did that on purpose, but Hawk... Purp um, it looked like Hawk purposely moved his Mountain King in a, in a way so that the Chain Lightning wouldn't bounce against all of the casters. Instead, going after the remaining units here. All right, Mountain King is going to try and finish off that uh, grunt. No, he is not going to be able to do that. More repairs onto the Torrent Chieftain. It's the Ultra of Storms, and Torrent Chieftain will quickly get back into play. Torrent Chieftain back in play, uh, but still has plenty of mana, at least for now. Hawk going after the voodoo lounge here we're looking at 45 supply compared to 50 hawk and Lin Gua Gua really going back and forth. Shamans, however, able to purge down those water elementals so quickly. And that is what you want to see from Chain Lightning going after all of those low hit point targets. Every single priest getting bounced down there as the Farseer could be in a little bit of trouble. Potion of Healing used in said Mountain King. No Staff of Sanctuary to save him. Dust of Appearance um, onto the Mountain King who was invisible, followed by an Ensnare. Mountain King down, getting purged. Chain Lightning trying to bounce away as he is still trying to run back here. All right, Kodo be joining in on the fight scroll of speed stormbolt back onto the torrent chieftain torrent chieftain somehow alive how is that mountain king still alive after all this time he's getting purged down again ring of regeneration really making a difference followed by the priest there followed by another purge mountain king down to 57 hit points is this an overcommit? it is as the mountain king able to get away so much time energy invested in the sh chasing down this low hit point mountain king with no nothing to show for it as the mountain king now getting healed back up once more Voodoo Lounge taken down here. A bunch of Hawks units are all, well, slowed running around in a different direction. And now the army of Lin Gua Gua is completely separated. Expansion is up and operational. There is still a, quite a bit of mining going on. A near 4,000 gold difference as Archmage now gets up to level 6 after taking down an Orc Burrow. All right, back and forth action. And level 3 Brilliance Aura over Mass Teleport um, as the Torrent Chieftain can lay down enough stomps to make to make things a bit problematic. All right, main gold mines have mined out. So it is one gold mine versus zero. Mountain King is right there. No, um, So is the Torrent Chieftain. Both sides looking to engage. Archmage, does he have... Oh, there's a Lightning Shield followed by a Stomp. Damage is racking up already. There's the Dust of Appearance. Stormbolt onto the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain now down to 200 hit points. Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability not going to be in time. Mountain King unable to get the Stomp off in time as the Mountain King now playing just run around the buildings again. Mountain King a bit low on mana. Stormbolt onto the Torrent Chieftain. Torrent Chieftain down to, well, 70 hit points. Is he going to be able to get in front of it? Try to add a little bit more damage. Followed by another hit. Two hit points squared as it's able to get away. Posh, um, Endurance Aura, Torin Chieftain with the Ring of Regeneration saves, stays alive at two hit points. I don't know who has more close calls and close shaves in this matchup. This game could have gone either way as the Torin Chieftain is still alive, but that's pretty much all you really have. It will add in the expansion as well. All right. Actually, mining gold does make a difference. 40 supply army com or 39 supply army as one peasant is digested compared to, um, well, 21 army size of Hawk, 35 compared to 14. And this is incredibly close. Torin Chieftain actually needs to perhaps find a way to get back up to um, to get train up Shockwave if he's trying to outlast his opponent there. Stomp is not going to be able to uh, go the distance all that much, especially with so many Spellbreakers here. The Priests, however, do need to stay alive. And if these two Priests go down, the survivability of the human army drops down significantly. All right, trying to get a little bit more gold by finishing off a couple of creeps right there. 
Kodo be or what water elemental disrupting the mining back off over here. Archmage perhaps wishes it had mass teleport, but does have a whole bunch of mana on that Mountain King for all of its effort. Units off to the north here. Scroll of speed in order to get away. Run away, run away. At 284 hit points here as the water elementals. Well, fight where your opponent is not, but is important to your opponent. And that's exactly what Hawk is doing. Going after this here. There's a massive thunderclap slowing things down, disrupting mining. And, well, 20 supply army compared to 37. All right. A little bit of a dangerous situation as well. I don't know if the... Spellbreakers have control magic, but if they do, well, control magic means that even the Farseer cannot hire up Spirit Wolves. One Raider now out here onto the battlefield. Peon going to get taken down. No more workers left. And are any more being trained? No, they are not. Goblin Zeppelin overhead, and that is it. This Goblin Zeppelin has nothing really in store for it. Back down to the south. Well, what can be purchased? Farseer can try and sell some items, but all of those items look pretty, pretty important. Sorceress now running back off to the north as Hawk sitting on one base play. Still um, doing quite a bit here as we are looking at a, p a peon now getting trained up. All right, little bit of damage over time. And well, another water elemental making its way over here to try and take down this Great Hall. Great Hall looks like it will end up falling. Peasant could try and do some repairs. As if it remembers to, it is actually repairing. It's going to be able to climb up slowly um, over time. Water elemental may not be able to. Well, I don't know. It actually looks like it's falling slowly. All right, falling slowly. Meanwhile, Mountain King getting a stun right there and going after the Dire Frostwald. Granite Golem does have that stun. Spellbreakers stealing that roar as multiple roars are going down only to be stolen back. Back down to the south side here. Spirit Wolves are attempting to take down this keep here. There is no town hall. Or, oh, that did we train to Shockwave? All right, so Shockwave is one of the ways or one of the great equalizers for Tor um, Orc to try and win in the base race scenario, racking up damage against those buildings. I would have thought it would have hit towards these. You want a tight group of um, buildings. Every building gets hit for the same amount. Tor Archmage now trying to re run back across here. Will he be able to catch up? Mounting it a little bit too far back as... Was the Granite Golem taken out? No, it was not. Back down to the south side here. Mountain King staying invisible. One sorceress, some, well, Scroll of the Beast um, buffs as the Archmage and Mountain King are just going to be hunting for this Torrent Chieftain Farseer team. All right, Stormbolt could go down. Stormbolt straight up onto the Raider. Raider going to be easily finished up here. Mountain King could get to level 6. No, just a shy. 7 experience shy. And now going to try and perhaps go after that Torrent Chieftain. There's a Stormbolt down onto the um, Torrent Chieftain there. Um, and now Staff of Teleportation. Are we going to see some departing damage? Quick Staff of Teleportation allows him to head back here. Meanwhile, control magic onto that Spirit Wolf. You do not want to give any additional experience to that Torrent Chieftain as he could get up to level 6. All right. In a base race scenario, often all you need to do is build a building where your opponent can't take down, and that is enough. There is an island position here at the and well that watchtower will be near impossible to take down here perhaps more towers could be built if they try and do exactly that and this was all calculated by lin gua gua lin gua gua knows that now that long distance mining is off the table there is nothing to really try and take down or really no way to get a dish, enough gold to head to those locations. It is Lin Guagua's plan now to clear out creep camps to get that small amount of gold away from his opponent and keep him um, keep him in well a uh, a stalemate situation where no one can really win. All right, um, are we gonna have our really first stalemate? Is the question in War in Warcraft Three as no gold well. We need to see what happens with this Mountain King here. Mass Teleport could have perhaps been very useful. A Troll Bat Rider also added in here as well. Just in case a Goblin Zeppelin tries to fly over. Orc Burrows are all getting taken down. 
and this is going to give more experience as well. What's interesting or funny is if the Archmage actually backs away, it would give the Mountain King level 6 as the Orc Burrow does give experience. I don't think Hawk is thinking about that. Um, he's just thinking about taking down these buildings as quickly as he can. Torrin Chieftain finds, uh, finds himself in the tough spot. They're now retreating back. Mountain King um, sitting amongst all of these buildings trying to protect his investment. All right, coming back across here, second watchtower being placed down. And, well, there is still this granite golem here, which does offer a bit of gold. As we're looking at the war mill, well, going to fall down here. Last buildings. Well, orc is revealed. There is watchtowers here, and Hawk does know about them. What is his strategy and plan going to be now? That is the question. Water Elemental. I'm going to take get taken down here. Archmage needs to find a way to mass or to get over, get an army over there to take down that building. And I'm sure if he had mass teleport right now, he would well know of a way to do that. Hiring up a goblin zeppelin, dropping, well, no, the, uh, no, the, the, the bat rider and the water elementals. Um, just probably wouldn't be able to survive. Now clearing out as many creep camps as they can, every bit of gold matters. As they're trying to salvage something, Mountain King has Boots of Speed, Double Circlets of Nobility, and a Ring of Regeneration for sale as well. Getting up to 200 and what, 239 in gold, pick up a Manual of Health, and now go after this Granite Golem here. Water Elemental Spellbreakers, Boulder Toss onto the Archmage. As that granite golem may try and do that little clap move, but not realize that the water elementals or the spellbreakers can't really absorb that damage. Mountain King still back at home. There are dire wolves now. So dire wolves are here. And in addition, the Farseer trained up Farsight. No chain lightning um, as the Mountain King is still sitting across here. All right. Revealing the terrain here. This could be a, a true stalemate as this island location cannot be taken down. No way to mine any gold. 350, no workers anywhere. Is, is, this, a, is this a draw? I, will, I, I believe this may be my first draw ever. Um, Goblin Zeppelin, oh, a move is trying to be made. This, this could be a, a, a misstep here archmage dropping in some water elementals you can see um well spirit wolves being brought on over again and well my daughters are no no way to build a mortar team as there's no blacksmith and, and no peasant all right spirit wolf doing a bit of scouting here water elementals are trying to get elevated it elevated over there is a troll bat rider there's a control magic and oh there's a reveal right there, and Troll Bat Rider is going to come across. Oh, 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 oh is going to find its target. Level 6 Torrent Chieftain, level 6 Farseer. If a Troll Bat Rider takes down a Goblin Zeppelin, Zeppelin over terrain where a unit cannot exist, all units inside die. Torrent Chieftain now sits at level 6. It looked like it was going to be a draw. Hawk went for the win and in the end may come out with the loss. Spirit Wolves now out and about here. Archmage, Archmage is being resurrected. There was enough gold to be resurrected? I did not expect the Archmage to be, uh, an, uh, there are enough gold to be resurrected. Okay, um, I don't, I don't. He's training right there. Oh. He's training. Oh, I didn't see. Okay, he's getting revived. All right. Spirit Wolves coming across here. One Spellbreaker resurrecting here as well. Mountain King. Are, what, what are we going to see? Are we, we going to see a Stormbolt? Oh, level six now on the Mountain King. 
And that gets taken down. Torin, Chieftain, Farsi are going to try and engage. Shockwave ripping on through, uh, trying to take down the Archmage. Mountain King trying to go after. There's a Thunderclap. And inside, the Farseer goes, trying to take down the Altar of Kings. Earthquake now being cast there. And the Altar of Kings is destroyed. No, there's no peasants to remake it. And... Uh, I, I, yeah. This is where I want a co-caster to like help me explain or feed off of my excitement. Torin Chieftain, you can't take him down. If you try and take down the Torin Chieftain, he'll just get resurrected. Farseer, that won the foresight to go for a, a bat rider to stop any sort of goblin zeppelin play was absolutely huge. All right, right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that that's it. I need to end the game. Hopefully, I'll get up the score screen. But that was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful game. Come on, show me the score screen. I want to see the score. Come on. All right, not working today. Um, recap. I don't know how to recap that game. So many close calls. So many misplays. So many dangerous maneuvers. And in the end, Lin Gua Gua comes away with the victory. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. If you guys missed any part of today's cast, well, if you're on YouTube, just rewind and watch all the exciting parts.